I'm Ojok Joseph Kualokere. I'm so impressed again to present to you in this episode uh, some of the common challenges that farmers do get when you are carrying out uh, cabbage production. So in this episode, you are going to learn a number of activities, uh, common pests, common diseases that attack the cabbage and the management factors that can lead into losses when you are carrying out uh, cabbage production. So watch my YouTube channel and subscribe so that you can not miss any other educative videos that I will be posting all the time. Here we are doing loosening of, of the soil for proper development of the roots and the aeration of the soil. Here because we are, you are seeing our crops they are doing well because we are loosening the soil. The proper development of the root and the aeration of the soil. Now we are doing loosening of soil. And uh, remember, we have come to our last management practice of adding of, of our seedling. As you are seeing our seedling now, they are now looking good and they are now ready. We are going to transplant them. We may pit or cabbage, bunny, and a shio one, tungi, and a yaki can, tunuki can, or better fifteen centimeters. Akaya from from Kora maybe tungi and to tungi da bero 15 centimeter. Aka ti work continuously na hibuye kucha. Me yiri wati shi yi shi o kare shi elke lo tora tia me ti straight a bear. Aka iti shi yi do iti wati pito. Ka yi ni pito. I puaro kora puaro yi korni. Yi yi lai ni ena me yi ni gine ni. Me yi ni shi o ni. Ti work kere wara. Aka ka yi shi a me wumu. Yini yeni ka lo mo ka ti te na be pe da ti mu lo wa da da aka ti aka ti wu mu ke re ka ja sa no na ko no na aka ka i wu mu yini ti yen yu shade aka ti ke tu ba ye yen sunlight sha mo ka yin kor dia donya donya na ko da an kor ni so aka kor wa ni na no ti a shi la be ri en wa no be ro ke ke ro make <laughs> Cabbage get a meal, cabbage get in my bag, man. Kiro, he yet a fall, mammy, you go away, okay? Yeah, yeah, The training here in Alito, we make sure that our youth, old farmers, should understand all the concepts which are involved in the production, especially in horticulture. We make sure that even we set aside some demonstration plot as a control experiment in order to allow some of the common challenges like pest diseases to attack and our youth happen to see and learn physically from the demonstration from the control plot and we compare it to a, a well managed demonstration so that they get to know because if you just keep on training people uh, oh this is how you produce cabbage and then they uh, but now when they when they are left alone or when they get back home and start producing without seeing this kind of uh, pest this kind of diseases that do attack the vegetables it becomes now so discouraging. We bring the concept of uh, challenges that are involved and then we bring also the, the, the concept of success in our training so that 
everything is learned all together and also how to control yeah yes i'm very happy and so much glad to be in a little training center and i am pleased with the knowledge i'm getting at a little training center my name is Aoli Calvin Oscar. As you can see, I have been taught not only with success in our cabbage production, but I was also taught about the challenges the farmers do face in cabbage production. We are one of them in our control plot here. As you can see, my cabbage plant has been damaged by one of the pests. And this pest is the diamond back moth. Whereby the diamond back moth we can see from its feeding. It, eats the, uh, it feeds on the edible part of the cabbage, leading to poor age formation and destroying our cabbage plant. Not only that, so the pest also feeds on the leaves and leaving holes inside the leaves of the plant. Also, I can also see the age formation. It has eaten almost the, uh, the growing point of our cabbage, which I think it may lead to no formation of the head. And also, the best way we can use to control this pest, we can use pesticides. Whereby pesticides, we can use the striker, we can use the lambda, uh, we, shall, we can use the lara force, also the dudu accelerating to control this pest. Farmers should not relax because this kind of thing it can lead to economic loss. Because in a big plantation like this, when you have not scouted the pest and diseases affecting your plants, it may lead to great economic loss which may not be a good result of a farmer. So a farmer, farmers should be serious with this kind of disease and they should do field scouting each and every moment. Any disease, any, any pest disturbing our, our crops, farmers should concentrate too much on that. Tell a chakuda dalaka, 
Mi operi ya bae no kena besha metina no no. Inuni. Faka be do pe be kere kare. Meri ya ye pian gina mi gari ya ye. Me don ti ya. Chema me gin don kere nu ku dicha na roka. Amani chani. Temi yogi don be do dabu dabu kita meti ya kere ni ya. He come down my no. Nudo kabe come. Nuko ri don wa lo ka kita mo tun na kere no. Pedo alon ere. Take a look on me, Mara. Me yina puri ramu kaya bopiya. And by the name of George, I'm very proud to be here in a little training center. With the cabbage, you should not tamper with the the growing tips or the growing points. If you tamper with it, it will form many heads or branches. So if you to see this one here, this one is forming three heads, and this one and this one is is forming only one head. So with cabbage, you should not tamper with it. If you are transplanting or if you are with so my advice to farmers if you are going to carry out the the transplanting you should take care of the growing tips and if you are going to with the the early weeding you should also take care with the the growing tips not to get damaged in order to to not to make the losses for example if you to see this plot here we have been very keen and we have been protecting the 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 the, the eggs not to tamper with it not to break it for, for example, this one here, we have managed it very well during time of transplanting and during time of early weeding. So, if you to see this one and this one and this one, they are in a very good yield. That one we have protected it very well. And now they are getting ready. This one, this one, they are getting ready. Huh? We, are, we are almost getting the market of, for this one here. And if you to compare this one with that one, this one is far much better than the other one. For four plants. Just aside of the, the demonstration, which is indicating some of the, the mistakes that farmers do make, eh, as they have explained, about breaking the growing tips of the of the plant. So when you look at this one, is there is no quality of uh, heads being formed, simply because there are very many branches. Eh? Take a look at this one. Eh? So this one is communicating to a farmer or to the young people that if you relax. Eh? If you are not skeptical enough during the agronomic practices, you end up getting this instead of reaping uh, as the other side. Eh? I have a little bit of water. 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 I have a Cabbage <laughs> Never more do we, more do we, more do we ever. And a man and a more than a more do one. So, one of the Pahamoku, to dwell and walk. Carmeo or Kaini Tipu, Cabbage, Tipu, Jame, dear Ferro So, a Maybe people I'm going to 
Mami, I come back. I want to marry you. Do you know when? When you see the plants are just collapsing like this, so for the cabbage to form good quality heads, it needs plenty of water. It needs adequate water. But right now, the soil is dry because of prolonged droughts. And obviously, we don't have water in our, in our tank. So there is, we have challenges with our solar farm, so we are unable to water it. I wanted to pass a clear message to you to prepare for this kind of harsh weather. Now, uh, taking a look at, we have missed some of the practices in this demonstration, such as conservation practices in like mulching to conserve soil moisture. And also, I want to advise farmers to at least adopt water harvest system in the farm. Rainfall, it is now very short. But during the short period when it is raining, you can harvest the running water. You can harvest rain water and keep it for the future use. So if we are done water harvest, by now we would still be continuing with our production with, with the minimal challenges. But right now we don't have water, we have not harvested water, we have not uh, mulched the garden, so there is no conservation rapidly the water is escaping from the soil has escaped from the soil now it is escaping from the plant that's why you see they have collapsed they are collapsing so now the yield potential is already compromised yeah. mm, as for uh, agricultural practices uh, sometimes we are affected by some other climatic factor as we are suffering within this time you know uh, Rainfall within this time it is progressing long minus raining, but that one should not discourage us from practicing agricultural practices. So for like this garden, the reason as to why uh, our plant is somehow wilting because we have made we did not practice some of the agricultural practice like um, the mulching of the garden. So if we mulch our garden, for example, this uh, cabbage garden. If we would have mulched it, it will continue conserving what, the, the moisture in the soil. That moisture will continue keeping the, the plant healthy and they will continue to progress and they will eat well. But like this one, we shall receive very small aids of what? Of these cabbages. Because we have not mulched them well and they are lacking uh, water. That is why you see the leaves now. They are wilting so much. So we need to uh, conserve water in the soil by mulching our garden.